Hi, this is Andy Neal, and this is a Final Cut Pro quick tip. One of the most common types of sequences you'll find in editing is the photo montage sequence. And I know that there are programs like iPhoto and iMovie that can do photo montages with the click of a button, but you get a lot more control over it in Final Cut Pro. So here's how you would do it in Final Cut with a couple of little tricks along the way. All right, first of all, you have to have some photos, so I pulled a bunch of common use photos off the web, and I'm just going to go grab 10 of them, and I drag them either up to the canvas, where I can choose overwrite, or I can simply just drag them straight into the timeline, and I will have 10 photos, all the same exact length, laid into my sequence. Now, this photo, these, each one of these photos is about 8 seconds long, which may be too long, and I could sit here and trim each photo and for certain circumstances you may want to but perhaps you want all of the photos to be the same length and you don't want to sit there and edit each one down because maybe you have hundreds of photos so there's a little bit quicker way of doing that I'm just going to delete all those elements out of there and then I want you to go up to the Final Cut Pro menu and choose user preferences there's a tab called editing click on that and at the very top here you'll see a still freeze duration and it's set to 10 seconds and that's the default you can change this though to whatever you like and I'm gonna use five seconds so I'm hitting five and the period which is shorthand for Final Cut five period equals five seconds and then hit OK now if I look at my pictures you'll see the duration here still hasn't changed it's, it's still eight seconds long and that's because that preference only applies to new imported clips. Luckily it's really easy to re-import clips so I'm just gonna delete these ones out of my browser and swing over to the finder find some more clips here we are like that and I can just drag them straight into my browser to re-import them. Now when I do you'll see I have a new duration and you'll notice that the duration says four seconds and that the previous duration was eight seconds even though if we go to our user preferences you'll see that the still frame duration is set to five seconds and previously it was ten the discrepancy in the in in the duration of the clip is due to the fact that the sequence i'm currently working in is a twenty four frames per second sequence as opposed to your standard twenty nine point nine seven frames per second anyway we have our shorter pictures so now just grab them drag them into your timeline make them a lot shorter and I'm gonna hit shift Z to fit this to window now I gotta animate them what often people do is they will double click that first clip go into your motion tab here and they will start creating keyframes and animating but I want to show you a couple of little tricks things that will make this a little bit faster a little easier first of all let's assume that you'd like to dissolve between each one of these photos so add the dissolves first before you do your animation and the reason why is because when you use a transition it adds extra media on the on the incoming clip and in the outgoing clip and you're gonna want that picture to keep moving throughout the entire dissolve so to add dissolves to all your clips at the same time if you have Final Cut Pro 7 because this is a new feature with Final Cut Pro 7 simply select all of the clips in your timeline that you want to add a dissolve to and use the dissolve shortcut key which is command T on the keyboard and you'll see a dissolve has been laid in between each one of these clips I'm gonna undo one second and note that I selected all the photos except for the very first photo and the very last photo and the reason I did that is because this shortcut will apply a transition to both ends of each clip that's selected. So if I had selected all the clips when I hit Command T, it would apply these two erroneous transitions, which I don't want. So I'm simply gonna select the interior pictures, hit Command T, and now I have a dissolve. Now, the dissolve length is based on whatever happens to be your default dissolve length. I have made some of my own favorites here. So mine is, uh, is set to 10 frames and that gets shortened to 8 frames in a 24 frames per second sequence. If I wanted a, uh, you know, a longer transition I would just go to video transitions dissolve and I would right click the cross dissolve which is set at one second and I would choose set default transition. Now when I apply that 
I will get a nice one second dissolve between each of these clips.